I should get up. Zoom waits for no one. Should really get up. I bought this house. It's all mine. All this debt is mine. I bought it before I met Jake, my husband. I say this because normally when people see a young-ish woman in a house like this, they always think that a man bought it for her. Even if she has a job. They think he bought the house and she picks up his socks. I do pick up his socks. I should stop doing that. The next sock of his I pick up is going right in the trash. There was this guy at the bar last night. I did not have a drink. I was good. I wanted to, God knows. Alejandra was like, one fucking drink is not gonna hurt the baby. And she's right. She's right, but it's not worth the looks. Anyway, so this guy at the bar, you know the type that's bold and disarming to the point of rudeness because he thinks it's charming? He says to me, are you going to be a good mom or one of the bad ones? I was like, you're not funny. I can tell by that question you don't hear that enough. Am I a good mom? It's a boring question. Alejandro was like, what do you think you're doing right now in your other life? I'm a singer. My voice is husky and clear. I understand how chords make people feel. I'm fluent in musical feelings. I'm on the road and I do not have a husband. I have lovers across the whole gender spectrum. I'm an omnivore. Insatiable on the war. And I live in this tiny little apartment in New York that I did not buy because I can't afford it on my singer songwriter lifestyle. But I used to run errands for my elderly neighbor, Margaret, who I rented a room from when I dropped out of NYU right after orientation. And we used to drink tea and I'd play her the songs that I was working on and I had no idea how much it all meant until she died and left me her West Village apartment. I missed Margaret's funeral because I was on the road. But I wrote a song about it called Funeral, which is really just a song about depression. And then eventually when I got back to New York and I was cleaning out her things, I found this file full of clippings of reviews of my shows, and suddenly I realized we are all so much more loved than we know. So much more loved. I wrote a song about that too, called The Review. I probably have a lot more STDs in this life. Jake could be one of the lovers. My husband. Pass through his town on tour. He's from Peoria. So we meet in Chicago. Yeah, I like Jake in Chicago. He's from the suburbs. I'm on tour. It's an adventure for both of us. And then I leave. In this life, I'm always leaving. writing songs about 